This is Mac Gonzalez with Mac Rumors, going over the different watch faces available on the Apple Watch. The clock is the default screen that the Apple Watch goes to. When you push the digital crown from the app chooser, it takes you back to the clock. Also, when you raise your wrist to look at the watch, the screen will activate and show you the clock. The clock is also the area that has by far the most customization. There are 10 different watch faces to choose from, and the majority of them are very customizable. You can change things like the color, the amount of information on the face like numbers being shown, and different complications. Complications is a term used for the various information besides the time on a watch face. In the case of the Apple Watch, you can get information like the moon phase, sunset and sunrise, battery life, activity info, weather, calendar events, alarms, stocks, timer and stopwatch, and a world clock. To change and customize a watch face, you need to use a force touch gesture. Just hit the watch face and it'll give you options to change the face and customize it. Going over the different faces, first off we have the utility face. Here you can change the amount of numbers shown on the face, the color of the seconds hand, and add complications. Next is the modular face. This one looks less like a traditional watch face and presents much more information. Here you can change the color and change the complications to give you as much information as you want. Next is a simple watch face. On this one, you can change the face to show nothing but the watch hands all the way up to full seconds of the clock. You can also change the color of the second hand and change the different complications. So this one can either be really simple or have a bunch of information. Next is the motion face. This one is very different from a traditional face and it has a moving animation on the background. You can choose from a butterfly, a flower, and a jellyfish, and the animations change every time you look at the watch. On this watch face, the only other option is to change whether or not to show the date. So it's very simple, but gives you a nice animation. Next is the astronomy clock. Here, there's nothing to customize, but it does give you a few different ways to view the time. The default view is of the Earth, and this shows you the correct positioning of the sun to the Earth with your GPS location. The second is to view it in a planetary view. To see this, click the button on the bottom right, and it will show the correct positioning of all the planets. Lastly is to see it by moon phase, and you can get to this by clicking the bottom left corner. Along with viewing these in different ways, you can also use the digital crown to accelerate time and get a visual representation of what that would look like. Next is the color watch face. Here you only have the option to change the color of the entire face and the option to change complications. This one is very simple as well, but unlike most of the others, you can change the entire color of the watch face. Next is a solar watch face. You can't customize anything here, but you can scroll through the day and see where the sun will be at any given time. And this one is pretty similar to the astronomy clock. Next up is the chronograph watch face. This one has a lot of customization, letting you change the time scale, color of the background going from white all the way to black, and the different complications. This watch face also has a built-in stopwatch that can quickly be accessed without having to add it as a separate complication. Next is the Mickey Mouse watch face. Here you can see Mickey tap his foot along with the time and point in his hands in the right direction. You can also customize different complications and this one is more fun than your traditional watch face. Lastly is the extra large watch face. This one is very simple and only gives you the option to change the color, but the time is front and center and is really easy to read. Now, once you've gone through and seen all the ones you like, you can delete the ones you don't. To do that, just swipe up on the watch face and hit delete. If you want to get it back, go all the way to the very end and hit new, and then add the one you'd like. You can also do this if you want to save a specific watch face that you've customized, but want to get that same watch face in a different customization. So that's a tour of all the watch faces on the Apple Watch. There's a ton of customization that can be done, and even though there's only 10 default faces, they can be changed quite a bit to your liking. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to stay tuned to MacRumors.com for more Apple Watch coverage. Again, I'm Matt with MacRumors, and we will see you in the next one.